Hello and welcome to Spotlights. My name is Derek and this is the Accuracy International AX50 ELR. Now, when you are looking at a rifle of this stature, a big bore precision rifle, you generally have to make a choice. Do you choose a higher performance round like a 375 shy tac or do you succumb to your inner child and get a 50 cal? Because, well, who doesn't love a 50? Now with this British behemoth, you can do both. AI has taken their multi-caliber system and applied it to their biggest rifle. It's basically the same mechanism. You loosen a set screw and then you unscrew the barrel by hand, plug a new one in, change your bolt mag if you need to, and then off you go. On this gun though, due to the extra forces that are involved with 50 cal and those big rounds, there are two set screws. There's one on the right side as normal and there's one on this side as well. To start with, it will just come as a 50 BMG, but in the future there will be parts like barrels, bolts, and mags to change that to 375 and 408 shy tack and 416 Barrett. The timeline on those is a bit unknown right now, but it will happen. Now this rifle does share some features with its stepbrother, the AXSR. We did a video on that last year, so if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. Some points to mention, like the AXSR, it has a cutout in the stock here to make uh, cycling a bit easier. It has an Arca Swiss rail right here, right at the center of gravity on the, on the rifle. And on the front of it, you have a bit of a textured surface for using it as a barricade stop. And it has an Ergo grip. It comes with this one here, but it'll take any grip for an AR-15. So if you do want to change it, once you have the rifle, you can do so. Quick mention on the stock, it has this little blue piece here, it's a bit of a soft polymer and it acts as a bolt stop so you can cycle this thing like your hair is on fire and it'll still be okay. Now we do see some signs of the older AX50 in this rifle such as the three position safety here, this stock with the Picatinny rail with this sort of bag rider on it, the 27 inch Bart line barrel with the big old brake on it and the two-stage trigger, which is set at a weight of between 3.3 and 4.4 pounds. Some new parts of the rifle include the magazine on the AX50s of old. They were a single stack five round mag, but now they are a double stack 10 round mag, so you can party for twice as long. And the top rail is now a 45 MOA rail. So when it comes to selecting a scope and mount for that, I would advise should you want to make your zero between one and 300 yards, I would pick a scope that has at least 90 MOA or about 26 mils of total travel and mount that on a zero minute mount or rings. So overall, this rifle is pretty much as good as it gets. It is very special. Uh, what's not special though is the packaging that it comes with. Uh, it's actually pretty unspecial, but uh, it's basically just uh, some, some foam cardboard box, that's pretty much it. Pretty underwhelming there. But I'll tell you what's not underwhelming is this rifle. This thing is an absolute masterpiece. As always, should you have any questions about this rifle or anything else that we carry, please give us a call and you can reach me directly. As always, we are trying to show some love to our subscribers. So as such, we are going to be giving away this Surefire G2X TAC light. So make sure that you are subscribed. Leave a comment in the comment section about what else you'd like to see on these videos. We uh, have some good ideas from you guys so far that we're, we're working on for future stuff. So yeah, in the uh, comments, give us an idea of what you want to see in the spotlights and also some of the other videos that we do. We are very open to your suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. You can also find us on Facebook as well as Instagram. And we'll see you next week.